Hey awesome people, Naomi here. Welcome to this channel for another video. Today we shall be looking at calculating the unit rate of walling per meter squared. If you like this content, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that whenever we pump content, you can be updated. So you will be given a sum like this. Using the data given, build up a unit rate for 200 millimeters thick walling per meter squared. The data will be mortar mix 1 is to 3, sand 1800 shillings, cement 750 shillings per 50 kilograms bag, density, density of sand 1600 kilograms per meter cubed, density of cement 140 kilograms per meter cubed, the sand size of the cement sand block is 200 by 190 by 390 each goes for 60 shillings shrinkage of mortar is 30 percent cost of water and small tools is included in the preliminaries so you don't have to include them here mixing is done by hand labor constraints skilled laborer will do one meter q squared meter q squared in 0 0.8 hours and we shall pay him 1000 shillings per day and skilled laborer will construct one meter squared with 0 0.4 hours and we shall pay him 400 shillings per day then the mix in mixing it shall take four hours to do one cubic meter of mortar on to the solution the unit rate for walling shall be equals to material cost plus mixing cost plus laying cost plus overheads and profits. Mixing cost shall be the mixing of, of mortar, mixing sand and cement. Laying cost shall be laying the blocks using the mortar. So we shall begin with the material cost. The material cost will involve the cost of the blocks plus the cost of the mortar. How do we find the cost? How do we find the cost of the blocks? The cost of the blocks will be equals to the number of blocks times the cost of the cost of one block. How many blocks shall be in one square meter? It shall be one square meter we divide by the area of one block. If the measurement of the blocks is 200 by 190 and 390 and the wall is 200 millimeters thick what will be the size of the length and width of the block which is facing so the length of the block shall be 390 and the width 190 so when it's constructed we shall have used the mortar and the thickness of the mortar is usually 20 millimeters so every side of the block shall be increased by 10 millimeters because 20 millimeters 20 millimeters is shared between two blocks so each block will take an additional 10 millimeters so on the length side which has 390 we shall add 10 millimeters to give us for the 400 and for the width side which has one 90 we shall add 10 millimeters 200 so the number of blocks per square meters will be equals to one square meter we divide by 0 0.4 times 0 0.2 that shall give us 12.5 blocks therefore the cost of the blocks shall be one block block goes for 60 shillings so the total cost of the blocks will be 1250 times 60 which gives us 750 shillings. What is the cost of the mortar per square meter? This one, we shall find the volume of mortar in one square meter. And we know that mortar is usually in volume. So we shall find the volume of mortar in one meter squared, which shall be Got by finding the cost of one meter cubic of one meter cubic of mortar, then we multiply by the volume of mortar in one meter squared. Mortar is composed of cement and sand, and the ratio of mortar is one is to three. So we shall find the cost of 
one meter cement and the cost of three meter cubic of sand then we shall divide by four to get the cost per one meter cubic cement goes for 750 shillings per bag so we shall find the mass of cement that we shall use mass is equal to density times volume density of cement density of cement is 1440 the volume is one so we shall get 1440 we divide by 50 to get the number of cement bags then we multiply by 750 to get the total cost of cement which shall be 21600 sand shall be measured in mass sand in tons because we are given 1800 shillings in one ton so the mass of sand is equal to density times volume density is 1600 volume we are taking three volumes of sand we shall divide by 1000 to get the volume in in tons then we multiply by 1800 to get the total cost of sand that we shall use so we shall get 8640 so the total cost of cement and sand shall be 12600 plus 86 40, giving us a total cost of 30 to 40. In addition to the cost of cement in sand, we shall add 30% shrinkage. 30% 30 30 of 30 to 40 is 1972. So the total cost plus shrinkage shall be 30 to 40 plus 1972 is equal to 39312. If 4 meter cubic mortar is equal to 39312, what about 1 meter cubic? We shall take 39312 divided by 4 and we shall get to get 1 meter cubic of mortar. We shall use 9828. So how do we calculate the volume of mortar per meter squared? Now that we have got the cost of 1 meter cubic of mortar. The volume of mortar per meter squared is equal to the number of blocks per meter squared times the volume of mortar per block. So, and the volume of mortar per block is equal to the volume of a block with mortar minus the volume of a block without mortar. So, so we have 12.5 blocks in each meter squared. We shall multiply by the volume of the mortar per block which is equal to volume of the block with mortar minus the volume of the block without mortar. Volume of the block with mortar is 0 0.0.2 times 0 0.2 times 0.2. The volume of the block without mortar is equal to 0 0.39 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.19. So it shall be equals to 12.5 we multiply by 0 0.016 minus 0 0.01482 which shall two, which shall give us 0 0.01475 meter cube. So the cost per mot of mortar will be equals to the cost per meter cubed, then the amount in meters cubed, which shall be 0 0.015 times 9828, which shall give us 147.42 shillings. Now we go to the labor for mixing. The volume of the mortar is 0 0.015 meter cubed. If it takes 4 hours to mix 1 meter cubed of mortar, how many hours will it be meter cubed? It will be 0 0.015 times 4. We shall get the hours it shall take an unskilled laborer to mix the mortar. Then we shall consider we are paying the unskilled laborer 400 shillings in 8 hours hours so we shall multiply by the so we shall multiply by the cost per hour and it shall give us three shillings now we shall finish up with the cost of laying in laying we shall use one skilled laborer and one unskilled laborer one skilled laborer we shall pay him one thousand for eight hours we shall take him 0 0.8 hours to construct one meter squared so it will take one skilled laborer 0 0.8 hours to construct one meter squared and we are paying him a thousand divided by eight per thousand divided by eight per hour so we shall end up paying him a hundred shillings to construct one meter squared for the unskilled laborer he uses 0 0.4 hours to mix for to lay one meter squared and we are paying him 50 shillings 
per hour. So it will be 4 times 50, which gives us 20 shillings. So the total cost of the walling per meter squared, it shall be equal to materials per meter squared plus laying cost plus per meter squared plus mixing cost per meter squared. Material cost for the material cost for the sand cement blocks is 750. Mortar 147.20. Total it's 97.20. For labor, mixing is 3 shillings, laying 120. So the total shall be 123. So the total cost of material and labor shall be 897.20 plus 128, giving us 1020.20. We shall not forget to add 20% for profit and overheads. So we shall take 120% of 1020.20 to get 124.24. Therefore, the cost of 200 millimeters thick walling per meter squared will be, say, 1250 shillings per meter squared so i hope this video was clear if you liked it please give give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed 